الصلاة والسلام على
قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم The one who possesses a good character will reach higher levels than those who spend their lives fasting and praying. This paper I am holding in my hand I found amongst my papers, <coughs> it is a hutbah which I have written on December 10, 1983, 32 years ago. About the importance of Adam, about the importance of good behavior, good morals, good character in a Muslim. My Shaykh Rahmatullah used to say, good Adam is your sword in the jihad against your nafsa al-mara, against your ego. But he said this is for ordinary people like us. But for the value of Allah, It is a means to come close to Allah Ta'ala because the one with the good Adab has realized in him the appearance of the divine attributes of the Ismail Husna which Allah Ta'ala has taught our father has with Adam alayhi salam. And when in a human being there is the appearance of a characteristic which also belongs to Allah Ta'ala brings them together. <coughs> Thirty 
20 years ago, I have talked to you about Adam. Since many times more, we have talked about Adam. Allah Ta'ala says, Jahannam is full of aliens who do not act upon their ilm. In short, who talk about things and who do not practice it themselves. So this morning I asked myself, you who have talked about Adam 30 years ago, what have you done 30 years? Well, at least there is one thing, one principle in good order is never <coughs> to criticize or compare yourselves to others, but criticize your own self and compare your today with your yesterday. Well, at least I can give myself that credit. And I decided one more time after 32 years to read that footpath which was delivered 32 years ago. <coughs> what is interesting about this husba is it is from the lips of the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's a whole series of hadiths from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, the ones who have beautiful character are the best amongst you. He said, the one whom I love most amongst you and the one who will be closest to me on the day of last judgment is the one who has the best character amongst you. He said, on the day when your life's actions will be weighed, there will be no good deed which will weigh heavier than good manners and good character. He said, be aware and listen. Shall I teach you the easiest and the most beneficial worship for your being? It is to be calm, composed, dignified, with good manners, quiet, and without reacting and acting in accordance with a beautiful character. He addressed Hazrat Abu Dhar radiallahu anh, saying, Ya Abu Dhar, Shall I indicate to you two virtues which are easy, yet which will weigh heavy on your favor on the day of last judgment? Choose good behavior and a quiet and calm demeanor. I swear upon Allah, in whose hands is my being, that the good actions of all creation will not equal to those two virtues. Hazrat Usama radiallahu anh reports, when we were sitting
sitting in the presence of the Messenger of Allah, well-mannered, polite, humble, calm, composed, so still as if a bird was standing on our head. Some new people from afar arrived and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, who is it amongst the servants of Allah who is most beloved to him? And the beloved of Allah answered, the one who has the best manners, as you see those sitting around me. Our mother, Hazrat Aisha, radiallahu an, an ha, reports that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the one whose faith is most perfect amongst the believer is the one who has the best character and the one who shows the greatest love, consideration, and compassion to his family, to his friends, and to all men. Hazrat Mu'adh ibn Jabal asked the Prophet ﷺ for advice when he was leaving for a long journey. <coughs> he answered, Be a good servant to Allah without running partners to Him. He then asked for more advice, and the Prophet answered, If you ever do wrong, follow it immediately with a good deed. Muad then asked for more advice and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says be sincere in everything and believe in accordance with good manners and morals. When Hazrat Muad puts his foot on the stirrups to mount his horse, Rasulullah added, O Muad, follow at least the least of good manners, be at peace and good relations with people. <coughs> but that which is most necessary in good behavior, in good character and morals, is sincerity. Sincerity is both the means and the result of good behavior. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Sincerity is achieved by staying away from all that which Allah most high has rendered unlawful. And to do that, he advises us, wherever you are, you cannot hide yourself from Allah. Fear Allah. If you do wrong by mistake, follow it immediately with a good deed so that it cancels your wrong one. In your relations with people, behave in accordance with beautiful character. Hazrat Ibn Hibban reports Rasulullah has said, the ones I love most amongst you and the ones who are closest to me as well in the hereafter are the ones who have the best manners and beautiful character. And the ones who are the most odious and will be farthest from me in the hereafter are the ones who have bad character. Then he mentioned three examples of bad manners that he disliked most. He said 
they were the Sersa Rune. <clears throat> Sersa Rune are those who are loud and talk nonsensically. Then he mentioned Mutashadzikun, those whose actions are exaggerated and who are severe. The companions of Rasulullah no knew the meaning of those two words, but the third word which he mentioned, Mutasaytihun, they did not know. And they asked the meaning of it. Our master answered, he said, those are the worst. They are the arrogant ones who are continually trying to demonstrate their superiority over others. In another hadith, he says, there is repentance for every sinner, but not for the one with bad character. Because before he has finished doing a wrong thing and has time to repent, he starts doing a worse thing. <clears throat> we do our prayers. We fast during the Ramadan, we pay our zakat. In fact, many of us even have performed <coughs> the Hajj. We have Muslim names. When we die, inshallah, we will be buried in Muslim graveyard. <coughs> Time to ask our friends. Are we Muslims only during the month of Ramadan? Are we Muslims only those few minutes, five times a day, <coughs> doing our prayers. Are we cognizant that our religion is such a religion that we have to be a Muslim? every minute of our lives. And the first principle of good manners is the following. Never to harm any created being to rush, save them, if they are being harmed, even at the risk of our own lives. Even if you are suffering oppression and tyranny from their hands, still not wishing revenge or punishment on the oppressor. Look at around ourselves what is being done in the name of Islam. Look at 
ourselves sincerely in our hearts. Is that heart truly belong to a believer and to a Muslim? Allahumma inni yawadu bika min al-shikat wa nifaq wa shuhi ahlamin This Ya Rabbi we pray with the words of your beloved our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam O oh my Lord, I take refuge in you from shirk, from disunity and discord and insincerity and hypocrisy and bad behavior and character. <coughs> Amen. And who have given us the greatest gift of sending your beloved Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our example, our teacher, our prophet, our protector, our intercessor. Shara for the air which you have brought to breathe and the lungs to breathe it with, and the water and the food to feed us. And all that you have taught us, for you knew we knew not how to walk and how to talk. You have taught us to walk and to talk. Ya Rabbi, you have given us a brain to understand a heart to feel, hands to work with, and feet to come toward you. But alas, alas, that we have tyrannized ourselves. We got everything wrong. These hands which you have given us to give things to those people who need it, we hit people with, we hurt people with, we take things which don't belong to us. Those eyes which you have given us to take lessons from things which we see, are, uh, we look at things which are around, that tongue which have given us to express <coughs> our love for you and to teach what you have taught us in the Quran, we use it for blasphemy. Ya Rab, we have got it all wrong. We think we are the creator of ourselves. We are the creator of the air which we breathe. <coughs> that we are the masters of our own destiny. Ya Rab, have mercy upon us. 